So good evening guys. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> so good evening guys. This is a video a bit different for HM Coasters tonight. We are of course at Scare Kingdom's Green Park for their halfway to Halloween event. Ian's with me. Hello. The sun's a bit bright in your eyes. Yeah. Just very hard. How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous but fine. Especially because we've been at the Pleasure Beach, so we're a tired. bit tired. <laughs> oh my god, yes. tired. It's a bit of a tiring day. How did you find the Pleasure Beach while we're on? Um, because we didn't do a vlog. It was good. It was very quiet considering it's bank holiday weekend. Yeah. I can't look in the, I can't, <laughs> can't look at this because there's <laughs> the sun's, sun's right, right in my eyes. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. Um, it was a bit windy, so the big one got stopped. But yeah, it's right at the top. We weren't on it. No, we worry. weren't on it. But yeah, we had a great time. Good, good. Yeah. How, yeah. how are you feeling about tonight? That, same as always. It's a bit apprehension about not knowing what quite is happening. Yeah. But yeah, it should be a good, good day. Last time we came was very good, so. Very intense. A certain one that we won't be doing this time. Yeah, we won't be doing Psycho Mantium this time <laughs> because it's all about food and. It doesn't forced... sound nice, no, no. does it? No. It doesn't sound nice at all, so we won't be paying the extra, the extra for this pounds, one. Yeah. Maybe Halloween, depending. Yeah, depending on depending the subject. Depending on the subject and that, we may do it at Halloween. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So there are the three attractions. Consumers, we've got Man and Mortis, the evil of Oz, which sounds exciting. Don't know how they're going to do that, but yeah. we've got Body Snatchers, Spring Heel Jack, which presumably is a Jack the Ripper. That's what we're presuming, and the one we're not doing, Psychomantium Gourmet Cafe. So, yeah, obviously, we can't film inside the attractions, but when we come out, we will give you our full in depth. Review, yeah, Review, because won't we, we? Because we can spoil it because they change it every time. Exactly. So what what we tell you about <laughs> what we what we tell you about tonight, obviously if you're doing it at Halloween, it'll be different because they change them about. So wish us luck. Because we're gonna need it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you on the other side, hopefully. <laughs> We have just come out of the two mazes here at Halfway to Halloween at Scare Kingdom Screen Park. What are your thoughts? It was good, very good. I, I like how the both of the mazes had in-depth stories, yeah. which is, and not just, oh, we've released some vampires in here or something like that. It was um, quite an elaborate story. Yeah. So, and they all, they all had, people obviously had um, fixed lines and yeah, things it like was, that. Yeah, it so was follow it was, on. Everything Story, followed it? on from each other. It was more apt to lead than jump scare, wasn't yeah. it, this time? <coughs> it was nice. I mean, the, in the first one, it was very apt to lead. The yes. first one, which was the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, Man of Mortis, the evil from Oz. That's the one. <laughs> How you remember these things like? I can only remember that one. I can't remember the name of the second one. But do you want to elaborate on Man of Mortis? Um, Man of Mortis. Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, oh, the first scene was uh, the librarian from the big house who yeah. was walking down the street and found some gold bricks yeah. on the floor. I think that. And then she found a book of Wizard of Oz, and that unleashed all the bad creatures and all the good creatures from yeah. Wizard of Oz into yeah. the house, which was an interesting twist on it. It was an interesting twist. And um, Toto was ru running around. Toto was cute! <laughs> I love Toto! So, it, um, and we got escorted into the house and I can't remember what the next scene The next scene was um, Heather getting recognised. Yes, thank you Mr Daniel Pugh. Big which, shout out to you as the Tin Man. Which really was interesting. Because it took us ages to work out who it was. <laughs> it, it was he said something like people from Warrington or something like that. Yeah, and then shouted Heather as It was the like Heather as we were walking back. So yeah, we kind of went on Facebook to look who he was then, but yeah. Mr. Heather got this inkling, I know who it was <laughs> in the end. But yeah. Yeah, Mr. Daniel Pugh, you were really good. It'd be embarrassing if it wasn't him. Yeah. <laughs> be like, oh no, you were rubbish. No, we're only kidding, Daniel. You were great. Um, but yeah, 
Do um, Dorothy trying to find Toto. Oh so, yeah, and the, the, we kept bumping into wi the wick. And the flying monkeys. And the flying monkeys. There was a monkey in the bath. Who there was a monkey in the bath that was quite freaky. And, and suddenly realised he was naked and covered himself. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. And I'm trying to think what else. And then the Toto lion. kept appearing again. And then it finished with the Wicked Witch, didn't it? It was all your... Yeah, all the Wicked Witches. All, all the and, um, Wizard and of Oz characters. Creature, and a big, a nasty creature chased us yeah, out. Chased yeah, chased us out. Yeah. I mean, it's not really an in-depth one because we can't remember it's it It's not. We kind of took it all in, really, didn't we? It was... It was a good, good... I mean, there was some good jump scare. Well, not really... Not in Man of though. Not really then. jump scares, but they made you jump by... Acting up to you and yeah, and like propagating over pronouncing and, things yeah. at you and things like that. That was it was a very good maze. And the second one, which was Springtail Jack. Yeah, something like. Yeah, that that was the main character, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It was. I can't quite remember. It's at the start of the vlog anyway on Ian's phone. <laughs> But that was good. That, that was, was good. that was more jump scares, wasn't it? There was a lot of jump scares yeah. in that. But again, it had a good storyline to it. Yeah. That we were being taken indoors off the streets of London yeah. into a house to escape from this Springtail Jack yeah. and hide in the house. And um, then there was an a investigator, or was he an author? The yeah, um, he was a North journalist type, yeah, wasn't he? He was searching for Springtail Jack, but he'd worked out that the house was a cover for the murdering. So yeah, because we went down into the cellar then, didn't we? Yeah, then we got took in the cellar, which was a almost completely black part of it, where there was people making you jump by talking to you and yeah. touching your sides and there was dangling bits but yeah it was a, a normal um, in the dark maze that bit yeah. that, but very effective and then we got to more or less like a squeeze but it wasn't altogether. It was altogether. a squeeze but it wasn't like it was it? No and then people were pushing their faces into the yes, squeeze and, banging. and pushing their hands in and banging and things like that. Um, we got separated in twos and then we got twos. taken into a cage with uh, all six of us and he said right the next bit's really dangerous so we've got to separate you and send you in in smaller groups all the time people were touching our, our legs <laughs> while we were in this cage making you jump and then we went into the next bit was it the, next, the bit where we got set? Oh, the next bit was the smoke and yes. the. It was it, again. It was a completely dark room. Yeah. Almost completely dark. Room. I was gonna say if you've With done smoke. if you've done Terror of the Towers at Scarefest, you'll know the vampire bit at the end, the strobe lighting, that sort of thing. It was pretty similar to that. It was dark. You couldn't see where you were going. And they came out of the light at yeah. you and out of the smoke at you and. Yeah. Make a that, was, that was more that jump was a scares. jump scares yeah that was really good so overall what would you give it even though it is only a one night event it is the halfway to Halloween event so it's not as big as Halloween is going to yeah, be I mean, but for the, for, the, for the two mazes that we've done as I said obviously we've not done Psychomantium tonight because neither of us want to eat neither of us, of, of us want to eat um, disgusting food exactly and that's what we think I, and having seen people come out that's what they obviously got food in their hands yeah. and they're throwing it straight in the bin. Yeah. And so it just, it's not for me and it's not for Heather. No. We're both slightly picky on our food. Yeah. So Maybe, dep depending on the theme at Halloween, if it's a half decent theme, we'll, we might consider it <laughs> at Halloween. I yeah. say might consider it. Or, if it's anything like val the Valentine's one last year, it won't be getting done. But. <laughs> the, there are about six, seven mazes at Halloween, so... Oh, yeah. It's um, well worth a visit. Even the, the these events with only two mazes are well yeah. worth the, the visit because it was only, what, 13, 14 About pounds, that. It was nice and cheap. Including cute. booking fee, so yeah. it wasn't And there is a bar expensive. after that is only Coke. Yeah, Heather's that driving. That is only Coke. I am driving. I'm not... And I only had a Coke yeah. because... Yeah. No. So yeah. we're overall out of ten. 
I'd probably give it an eight or a nine, yeah. Because yeah. for a one night event, for a it one was night good. event, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, you only got the two mazes, and but they, there's a lot of actors in those mazes. I mean, the first maze I think was about six or seven actors. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe slightly even more, even more in Manamolitics. Yeah, so it, it's a good event, and it's. Um, I like the fact that even the people letting you in are actors. Yeah. So they they talk about their chatting with you about everything. Yeah. So it's a good, and as I good said, this, this event, Scare Kingdom, as a whole, keeps winning awards every single year at the likes of ScareCon and things like that. So they are fantastic. They're a, they're, they're known all over the country. That it's a group called Atmosphere that put it on and they are absolutely fantastic so kudos to the guys at Atmosphere I think for putting events on throughout the year yeah. I think so yeah I don't know when the next vlog will be I don't know where we're heading off to I may do one from Pleasure Beach next Saturday for the Coaster Force meet I'm not entirely sure but yeah as I said bit of a different video tonight not a vlog as such more of an a review video so until maybe Blackpool Pleasure Beach next weekend we'll see you soon bye